a very short introduction about myself first. So myself, Megha Malapal, working here with Arity as a senior associate, digital marketing. And as a co-host, we have having uh, Mr. Ankit, who is uh, like founder of Arity, and Izzy Sendi. So. A uh, brief introduction about Aritic is a unified marketing platform for the B2B business team. Uh, the parent company is Data Edges. Uh, so we have in Aritic two major products, which is Easy Sandy and another is Aritic. Same sample includes internet country, so so I hope to see uh, so be back. Huh? Uh, I, I am really sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, really, uh, bouncy for, for the system. Yeah, it's a it's a little bit cloudy here, so internet disturbance is there. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience. <laughs> so yeah. So we all Hello? Am I audible to everyone? Yes, welcome back. Okay. Thank you. So here uh, just I think maybe record your video so that. Uh, here, hailstorm is going on, so internet is a little bit shaky. Hmm? Yeah. This one. Hmm. Not that. Hmm. Uh, I was connecting from there only. Okay, so I'm really sorry, I'm back. So, uh, starting from like uh, uh, IIT introduction, it's a little bit, uh, it's a unified uh, marketing platform uh, for the B2B business. We have two product of, one is IIT and another is Easy Sandy. So, IIT is la uh, I I all about the connecting all B2B professionals under one community, you can tell. Now coming to the webinar topic, which is future proof your social media strategies through smart measurement. I can tell that the world are changing very fast now and so are social media. It's hard to know how to keep up. So we all know the social media marketing strategy is one of the most important thing and we all want to be a perfect on that. It's guide your action and lets you know whether you are succeeding or failing. We need to keep in mind the more specific your plan is, the more uh, effective it will be. So in one word, we need to keep it concise. Today, we have three subject matter experts with us to discuss how we can do this. I want to introduce our expert who are there with us. First, Sonali Brahma. She is an award-winning international brand strategist and creative advisor with nearly three decades of experience in creating powerful stories for brand, both in the traditional and digital domain. She works with corporate, personal, and product slash service brands in India, UK, US, UAE, Singapore, and Australia. She is a noted professional speaker and a jury member for Indian and global award shows in advertising and branding. Sonali Brahma was awarded the title of top 50 most influential content marketing professionals and also top CMOs for emerging startups. She is also a mentor for Ceros.com's Joan Startup India Startup Leadership Program and Jobs for Her. Now, our next speaker is Stefan Riffin. 
Stefan is a marketer and entrepreneur who started doing marketing 10 years ago. He started his marketing career in a winery and had a long experience in different B2B sectors and trade shows. He is fractional CMOs for many organizations and he helps the companies to build um, go-to market strategies and media leadership with complicated sales cycles. Our last speaker is Kavita. Kavita is an adjunct marketer with 10 plus years of rich experience uh, with marketing, communication and B2B marketing. So, she is a passionate orator, communicator with chill and jest, dreamer with vivid imagination, obsessed with writing and weaving stories. As per her, communication is the key to success always. She used different forms of marketing such as blog, paper, uh, blogs, white papers, case studies by using them as a canvas for stories. Now, we are going to start our panel discussion. Audience. I would like to request you ask questions through the chat box or you can ask directly to the panel members after the webinar or the panel discussion end. Now uh, my direct question to the panel members, what and how do you think social media is taking up the places in digital marketing? Over to you panel members. First. Yeah, please. Let, let, ladies first, go with. Yeah, so uh, mm -hmm. when you say taking up places, uh, I would like to think of uh, this question as social media and digital marketing. Is that Sankala? Yeah. Right. So, social media, as we all know, is being synonymous with digital marketing today. Mm -hmm. in which in itself is slightly wrong thing to feel or think. Right? So social media cannot be equated with digital marketing. But definitely social media is very, very important uh, mm -hmm. for the simple reason that people identify with social media as their own platform from where they can speak. And because people identify social media as their own platform, whatever the platform that we are talking about, could be LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, etc. Yeah, uh, it, it helps you to humanize the brand voice. So social media okay. is actually helping uh, brands and mm -hmm. people humanize their brand voice. It is also helping them be more authentic. And helps them to reach out to a large number of population, right? So social media, uh, in a way, is helping to create brand awareness, find mm -hmm. customers on social media, engage with the customers, talk to them that you would the way chat up. And a lot of brands are doing this as well. So there is a lot of humanizing of. Satishji, internet ka ban baj Social media or vice versa, so that's what's happening. And because of this again, it is helping people to reach out with a human voice. So the okay. social media and digital marketing today, as I feel, is because it feels like you know, one of it feels like uh, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's just maybe a, a media that I can identify with, that I can resonate with, and that is what brands are using to its maximum advantage. But why mm -hmm. social media is an important aspect of digital media, mm -hmm. digital marketing? We cannot ignore the fact that there are other important tools as well which basically depend on whether it's a B2B or a B2C and which part of the customer journey are you really looking at. So the other yeah. important tools I would like to mention here definitely is uh, obviously advertising but it is also email marketing. So that to me is one of the you know, very very important tools of digital marketing. And emails are used effectively in B2B marketing. And then yes. you have all the 
apply programmatic advertising to this. Right? So, right. so yeah. to cut it short, social media is <laughs> is very important in digital marketing, but it is not the only. Thank you, thank you, yeah. Shonali. Thank you for your explanation. Uh, so here is one of the question. Uh, how effective? Uh, okay, we will come to the questions later. First, we will go to Stephen for the answer or the explanation. What uh, Stephen think about uh, the question? Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Um, I'll try not to repeat what Sona already mentioned. It's not bothered our audience. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll, I'll actually, I'll actually uh, try to answer the question that came from Sonu. How effective are social media campaigns to be the brand? And I'll touch upon that. Once, okay. Uh, how social media helps the digital um, mm -hmm. environment. Basically, uh, in, in the B two B in the B two B space, let's talk about specific uh, media. We talk about LinkedIn. We talk about Twitter. These are the the, the pillars of the social media we have right now. Um, we have a, a good benefit for LinkedIn that there is some uh, level of organic, so you do not have to pay. It's important to know that you do not have to pay to get organic traction or to get people to, uh, to you know, see your, your content, which is, which is great. Twitter has particularly lost the ability to uh, do that, which is, you know, this is it. Brands, uh, brands do uh, um, um, Twitter, so, social media, uh, social media. Mm -hmm. Companies do want to make money on on, uh, on 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 ads, and basically killing the organic reach is the only way they can actually uh, ad. That's that's what we're seeing on LinkedIn that the um, that the the organic growth is uh, is, uh, is increasing, and on Twitter it's very very long uh, from the very beginning uh, 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 long time. Now going back to the question, uh, how effective social media campaigns to be to be brands? They are effective. But there is an important thing to see. So, you as a you as a, as a person, whenever you go uh, and you search something on your LinkedIn or you search for brand loan, you're not putting on your uh, your B two B vote and say, oh, now I'm, I'm B two B stepping, right? Or now you're B two B Sonali or Sonu or Nagara, right? So what you do is that you look at it as a person. So you. When you're on LinkedIn, you search for people, you don't search for brands. And that's one reason why company companies mm -hmm. on LinkedIn are very, like, quite weak. And LinkedIn is planning to uh, monetize those. So that's just a, a monetizing exercise, right? Now, your goal, your goal in B2B is to, to, to grow your, your uh, brands of people um, uh, who are working for you. Like the same that Anki does right now. He's growing your brand so people know you, and they know he, that's how they, they find your content, right? That, that's how they find your uh, In terms of uh, um, effectiveness, yes, they are effective, but you have to understand that um, you have to be consistent and social if you want to be uh, well known. You and second is like you, if you want to if you want to appeal to a very large, big number of people, then uh, you will have to be prepared. For that, right? um, that's that's all I have. That's all I have to know because I want to save some time for people. Thank you, thank you, Stephen. Yes, Kavita. So, uh, so I mean, you know, as to what you said, I think to everybody mm -hmm. here in the chat. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's definitely is different compared to digital marketing. And I believe, uh, I think the time has come now wherein, you know, when you consider marketing as an umbrella, you know, you've had a lot of things. You've had your organic marketing, organic marketing, etc. So but I think right now, I think Sonali and uh, Stephen is trying to find, right? I mean, social media is very best for them. I don't know if you want to be the same person in terms of the development of brand loyalty and, uh, you know, all the other great points, but I believe the most important part as we need to look at is the kind of customer and the kind of customer that is actually coming to us. Right? Yes. For example, when you talk about how, about, about, yeah, talk about how effectively, uh, you know, for example, in person, if there is an issue, 
for all of us, any of us who are traveling, right? And we are also trying to come here, but I believe there is always a lot of issues in trains, you know, we will be to not get it, the gaps get cancelled and all that stuff. I mean, all these issues, they happen in India, so people do not know how it is at all, right? So earlier, we did not have the hashtags, we were not having any access to anything, right? There is a complaint and wait for it for N number, you know, maybe some hours or maybe some days to get a reply. These days, brands are very uh, curious. These days, brands are very, very smart. They are on, they are always, um, you know, on, on uh, high alert. They are yeah. always uh, uh, taking that extra uh, step or walking that extra mile to ensure that each and every customer of theirs has the problem solved. And uh, everything that matters here is the ROI or maybe the yield the long time or we would say creative, right? So I believe this has also given rise to a lot of marketplace awareness as we talked about. Earlier we were not aware of as to what is happening, you know, what is what is a consumer exactly what to talk to you about. Right? So basically now I believe with this feature proofing, right, I, I guess um, it, it's very important for us to understand that uh, this is one of the most valuable advantage of social media that we talk about is the kind of direct access between the consumer and the Thank you, thank you so much. I believe. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. So, uh, coming to one or uh, another question here, uh, who means Mr. Sevel Guha, I have asked, social media marketing is costly in comparison to traditional marketing or cost effective? Uh, I would like, means any of your panel member can answer this question. So see, social media marketing, uh, when we uh, uh, yes, I will mm -hmm. cover that here. It's an interesting yeah. question uh, because, mm -hmm. because, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, see, uh, so there are two things to it, right? First of all, it also depends on the kind of industries that come from. So for B2B, traditionally, right, reaching out to tech magazines, reaching out to out of business today, etc., etc. I think, uh, I think it has become the uh, same. When you have a digital platform and you have a digital media, you, you know, run your Google ads in compared to half of the budget that you would spend in trade marketing and at least get four concrete leads you know, as an ROI. I think that is where your, uh, you know, that is where I think your things are going to fall. Uh, but again, uh, uh, you know, talking about apps, uh, talking about the cost effectiveness, uh, I think comparatively right now, COVID, digital marketing and digital marketing obviously uh, had a day for there was obviously a competition between both the platforms. You talk about the boards, you talk about OHS, you talk about everything, you talk about integrated marketing. You know, that obviously comes with a standard cost. When you talk about your, you know, but when you talk about your inorganic ads, you talk about uh, using mainstream, you talk about using Google ads, LinkedIn ads, or you talk about, you know, running your ads on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I think that on the air will be more cheaper than to put a board, you know, for example, in a very crowded place that you're not even sure as to how much people would have seen. So, when we talk about cost effectiveness, yes, it's highly cost effective and ROI is instant. And you will also come to know the kind of um, success rate or the attribution to the different factors uh, or to the criteria or parameters so that the next campaign that we talk about right so we also know what where have we failed and what is the kind of success that we have. I would like to add one thing here. If you look at the recent Nike ad campaign which was done on the outdoors and the panel mm -hmm. campaign that Nike Air did for the launch was mm -hmm. amazing because there was use of tech, there was use of creativity and there was use of a traditional marketing platform. Right, a builder. Now if you if you combine all these things then the answers must be honestly. What what is the objective of your brand or your campaign at that particular point in time is extremely important. So if you really want to brand 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 See, Nike doesn't in that need to brand, right? But it needed to launch the product in a way that grabbed eyeballs all over the world. And it was one of the most viral uh, you know, advertisements that happened, right? Everybody shared it on LinkedIn at least. So, then, then what we really calculate? So, so, it's not just about cost effectiveness, but it's about 
effectiveness and with a particular uh, you know sense of the objective of that particular app. Yeah. So that's yes. Yeah. That's what I thought. I should. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, Shonali. Uh, so uh, my uh, next question to the panel members is, what do you think will be the future-proof strategy for the social media? What will be the steps actually? Can you want to go first? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, so what's going okay so let me understand the question the question is so the question uh, is best, best, best. what yeah. what will be the future proof steps for social media strategy okay um I'll, from my own experience which is mostly like it to be again uh, it could yeah. be, be different for people but well first of all uh, the, the, the future strategy should be about um that's new challenge First of all, First of all you, we, we, uh, you guys use Instagram, and, uh, I guess some we, we, we scroll to TikToks and so on. We see more video content. Yes. Yeah. Um, my personal belief is that we as marketers or business people, we do uh, we do compete for other content and we compete. Um, you or other business about to compete with Netflix or other entertainment uh, um, you know, content as well. Yeah. So our... Uh, okay. Um, hey, my, my, what I look, what I'm looking forward to, yeah, first of all, is experiment with TikTok. Because mm -hmm. video is going to be the, the, the next, so you either you you board the video train right now or you're going to be lost. Remember? So you should start now as soon as possible. Um, second is you have to, whenever you, you choose a channel, you have to be consistent whenever you post. Because uh, you're, you're, the, the organic reach is not so you yes. have to be very consistent to get to, to get your message to the right audience, the one you're looking for. So it might mm -hmm. take without ads, let's say, it might take for you uh, years until until you get where you want to get um, that piece of pie in the market that you want to be. So a uh, way to scale down with our ads. So please do not use ads, but use them not so because of the because of the race of uh, product led growth or product led initiatives. Oh. Okay. Buyers are young, so they're trusting more yeah. than peers, not the budget. So I would say that you need to invest money. You need to be in those communities, you need to invest into people, you need to invest into communities, you need to invest into quality content that is going to twist and basically your, you know, um, build trust with your, with your audience. Because just doing cold calls and reaching out to call to customers is not going to make it in the future. So you got to do the brand. Brand is going to be um, something that even personal brand is going to be something that's going to make it in the future. Um, that's my message. Thank you, thank you. It was wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, your boring to boring was absolutely bang on. <laughs> <It's fantastic. laughs> because that is actually... Uh, I was largely B2B, uh, but if you tell me about all my experiences, uh, I have worked in both the schools, right? And today I prefer calling it human to human. Simply because questions like, from, from a very young audience, questions like, what do, we, what do we really talk on social media when it comes to a box of me? Now, like Stephen said, we are not talking about a wall. B2B is still some person in the company, right? I mean, it, yeah. is, it is a relationship, it is business association between two people, even if it is between two companies. So that's the first thing that, I mean, that's, that's what I wanted to, you know, sort of. Thank you. Sonali, you are on mute. Not everybody hearing. So sorry. So sorry. Uh, did you hear my first part? Yeah, we heard yeah. the first part, and I think that. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. So the B2B is very uh, important. We shouldn't uh, look at it as a wall to wall or a company to company, which which is not human. Ultimately, business happens between two people. Right? 
So that is what Stefan said. Yes. The points that I would like to give is uh, are even uh, more to very very important. Is that we should not be scared of automation or should not be scared of tech. For the simple reason that business at a certain scale is definitely going to happen through automation and tech. Right? The algorithms that drive the social media platforms, which are keep changing now and then, is this. I mean, it's artificial intelligence. I mean, they sort out your content based on that, right? There's no single person sitting there and sorting the content that needs to be shown to the people, the large population. So let's not get scared of tech because tech, for example, you know, projects, huge opportunities. Uh, even if you you look at creativity. So tech and creative together can really, you know, take your campaigns to the roof. That's one. Two definitely is content and at the risk of you know the cliche content, the skin cream, air, whatever. Uh, it is very important to look at content not just from uh, you know coming up with some fantastic uh, you know maybe some phrases, taglines, language, voice, whatever. What is very important is what is the kind of voice that the customer resonates with. So for that, you need to take a step back and understand the pain points of the customer and then talk to him through your content. So content writing as a uh, still struggling with this is, is very, very big and it really doesn't get across what content writers should be. We have content creators, but that's again, you know, taking it into a new direction. What I feel is we need to understand our customers, their pain points, and then talk to them in the language that they understand. It's very simple. If we do that, whether it's social media or whatever media, we will have cracked the whole formula or the code that we choose to call it that. Okay, so. Thank you, Sonali. Yeah, I agree with you, Sonali. And I was, I was actually about to say the same thing here. I think you uh, have mostly covered, uh, you know, whatever I want to say because all these pointers I have also <laughs> So I think as marketers, we are uh, telepathically very strongly connected to each other, right? And I think we'll be just taking on very actually from one of us, uh, you know, who's, who's, who's just trying to drop something and then we connect the dots. I think the most important part here, uh, probably, I think we should be talking about also the kind of uh, approach towards the social media right has now directly changed earlier it was only about engaging earlier it was only about sharing the locations tagging the people etc etc but i think because of all these things right a strong focus or a strong output that has come is now being focused towards your region and your demand and campaigns generally and I'm sure the, you know the kind of audience that we have here uh, and most of them could be from marketing from sales or from inbound you know or the isrs etc earlier it was it used to be really difficult to carry out any or to implement any you know uh, any of these uh, what do you call programs or campaigns but with the yeah. social media with the social media now coming up with a stronger reach your uh, lead gen demand gen sales customer outreach program becomes so easy that it's easily accessible you know to the kind of customer that you would want to reach or so I think future proofing here would mean to me in terms of two things would mean the kind of content that I'm going to use and to have and also to understand that my users are defined Shatishji. Continuous basis, right? So that it, it also like, you know, they, they're visiting our, our homes and we are visiting theirs respectively. And maybe to even feel that in India. So, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Devanshu, I think, uh, I think there are two ways. Uh, there, there was a comment by Devanshu saying that email is not social media. Email is definitely a digital marketer. I don't think uh, we all have any way said it's social media. We were just saying that social media is one of the important elements of digital marketing. But so are the others. 
exactly. It's just to just to clarify that part of it. That's good. Thank you, thank you, panel members, for the valuable explanation. I will tell. Now, my direct question to Stephen. So, according to you, what do you think? Ki what will be our long-term growth strategies? Strategies for our social media. Growth strategies. No, so you, so you, you. Hello. Okay. Uh, first of all, I, I choose uh, that social media which has some organic growth, and right now that's TikTok and LinkedIn. Um, second, uh, if I see that the message resonates with an audience, I'm looking. I'm looking at, and uh, then I do even on LinkedIn I do and boost it with a super fast like fifty dollars hundred dollars. I know that in India it might be good money and you can maybe cover the whole India. I don't know. But um, even a small amount goes a big way if you have some organic post that post is already looking good and important get getting engagement and you'll do it very quickly. So I do have to pay. So look looking forward it's important. just stick to the to the social media where your community is, where your target market is spending their time. Don't try to cover all the all the all the type of, all the social media because it's gonna be useless if you have you can do that if you are uh, the norm or a big MCG company but if you are uh, I believe the Audience here are mostly SMBs, small and medium-sized businesses. Try to mm -hmm. a few channels that work the best for you, and do honestly do experiment with video. Okay, thank you, thank you, Stephen. Uh, now my question to Kavita: We uh, generally get some negative co comments in social media platform. So, according to you, how can we prevent that type of comment? Because it will impact our means company brand reputation also if we get some negative comment. Great. So there are two sides to it, right? Mm -hmm. So I would say uh, anything good is bad, and anything bad is bad. Exactly. So for example, yeah, so for example, if, if today there is, uh, you know, we talk about the negative publicity, uh, I'm mm -hmm. sure you know, suddenly the next day you see the brand start trending. For example, if we all recollect here, we had seen this very famous incident of, uh, you know, things coming out with the Cadbury's. I mean, I know, I mean, most of us are chocolate lovers, but I think that's the only example that I can think of right now. Uh, right? And, and, and I think from the second day onward, Cadbury's uh, hashtag is literally soaring mm -hmm. high. I think, oh. like, uh, you know, I think, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I think these are some stats and reports. Obviously, I, I, I would be happy to share the links here. So when you talk about a negative comment or you talk about a negative branding, I think the mm -hmm. most important part here is to accept that you are in a industry, you are a part of the industry or a domain wherein one day you are on your door and second day you could be on your door. It's difficult to have that consistency, right? And to yeah. have consistency, what very important one person or the marketer can do is a responsible crisis communication or a responsible message that can, that can be sent across, you know, as owning a mistake that can happen here. So there would be some downfalls or pitfalls to it, but I'm sure after 15 days or after a gradual amount of marketing effort that come towards the brand, right? I'm sure people would even forget as to what has happened in the last 15 years or a month and you know, then they start getting or they start adapting themselves uh, to these kind of trends or or it's always very, very important uh, that, you know, you are trying to showcase the right message to the right user. So for example, today also, now if you ask about me, I, I, I play a very key role in terms of branding, representing my uh, firm that I work for. I work for a B2B ID. Uh, it's very difficult to get 10 reviews. It's very positive reviews. You know, you reach up to a higher 4.8 by 5, but suddenly one negative review about an HR or about something that is pretty that has happened in the can actually you know allow in the entire efforts to be 3.5 right so what happens here is that I, I this is what my to have a consistent practice that a marketer or a brand engagement to follow 
in terms of different strategies and tactics that you can do simply whatever is the response consider this is even on the bank even in the public domain out there because every little action of yours would so the time you start ignoring some of these negative feedback or you just do a hands up and just say you know or you just report this comment that does not go down well after a very long time so and yeah so now in case if you want if you want to add something yes sure yeah I don't know uh, this uh, you know anything that I would like to add. What you rightly said is that part is uh, we cannot just uh, you know brush things under the carpet. We need mm-hmm. to address those specific comments on on a one on one. There are enough samples out there uh, to really say how to handle a negative review. And uh, like Vita said, it's very very important to address those one on one. Even reach out to that particular person. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's a very very long time back. There's just one uh, experience, and we all do it. Uh, especially you know when I was younger and a young mother, <laughs> I had ordered a uh, stuff for my baby. Uh, this is not my baby, but uh, I'm just saying. And it was a very well known baby brand, and there were oil sachets. those little things very very small sachets but in one string of sachets half of them are empty oh yeah so it was uh, i i didn't like to name the company but that's what happened and that time there was no such thing yeah so i just mm-hmm. reached out to the company i don't know whether i called them i wrote to them to uh, give a letter but i really don't know uh they they came back sent their uh, people to my house with a complete replacement and more okay wow and, uh, that's how so that's the same experience yes mm-hmm. so yes if you are able to change the negative to a positive then mm-hmm. not only your intent is clear okay uh, but you also are able to you know possibly build a customer into a fan so that's that's how we should handle it yeah and really owning up to things are very easy i mean whatever it is good bad just own up to it because i'm sure you know as sonali and steven have already said this before you know it's more of a human touch or it's more of a human psychology that you're playing around with you know, that you're talking to or you're conversing to so i believe mean, at the end of the day you know a brand is also supposed to give in that human identity about existing and not you know when you talk about any of these uh, uh, you know the existence of the brand or the existence of the brand i believe whatever it is own up to it be honest be direct and be accessible i mean that's 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 very good thank you thank you so much anything from stefan no no there's so many so many comments so let's go to the next topic <laughs> thank you thank you so much so my next question directly to shonali uh, so as a brand and creative content consultant digital and traditional for so many years do you think ki uh, uh so uh, how we can increase engagement in the social media more than means what we are like now doing how we can en- increase the engagement more than that what i can see uh, in mm-hmm. the base social media although there are so many so many angles so many brands that are really making the effort to be more creative while not sacrificing the humanizing okay it's very very important to look at creativity in terms of social media content yeah creativity that is also relevant and meaningful to the customer So if you look at then not only mm-hmm. the customers uh, enter, Stephen raised a very good point in English. Right? So when creative, largely the customer feels good. You know, you start smiling. If it's if it's a you know good campaign, if it's a good remark, if it's a very very maybe intelligent, maybe slightly humorous, tongue-in-cheek remark, also you start smiling automatically. I mean, these are the things that are shared over. So if you use creativity to mm-hmm. work on content that is meaningful and relevant, then mm-hmm. I think you can engage the customer better through social media. 
okay uh, so my next question to all the panel member uh, is kind of uh, we do think ki brand awareness is one of the main aspect but uh, do can we make a little the brand presentable only through social media what i mean is many of the company nowadays are wanting only the social media presence rather than going for a paid one so can we do that means can the brand can be presentable through the only the social media promotion I think uh, I think you can have the company only wants brand and not conversion, which is a typical case of you know I want result results to one social media or one one two or a company still still wants it and those results are usually sales, which is mm-hmm. where everything just goes wrong, you know, because sales cannot be the only conversion. So there is a company or a brand which really just wants the presence on social media. I think you can just go all out and have great fun. That's my opinion. Oh, so eh, uh, yeah, a uh, one of my. <laughs> I think you're right, Sunali. Because, uh, for example, you know, we just have a website that will be on one page, and people come and they say, "Oh my God, this is not dry. Dry is happening. I don't know. It's the same website, you know." And you see that uh, suddenly the analytics is more than 8.5k, you know, the traffic in there. It's just it is just one page website. How can you do all these? Yes, you know everything. So I believe that's your brand. You know better. Your brand is your baby. You are the one who own it. So you guys know what is the best thing to do, and knowing the right platform and doing going out the way. You know, going out the way. You know, I I don't know that this is the right way to use your going out. Any the way you would you want to play there today, that matters a lot. So yeah. Uh, any comments stefan regarding this uh no actually no not no I don't see any angle there if that should be this everything is so good to the next thank you uh, hi uh, actually i just want to have a follow up discussion with that sonali man has just discussed regarding that creativity of content is very important whether it is a b2b or a b2c brand and the second follow up thing is when being a marketing manager i'll be more than happy if my company is asking for only social media presence rather than any conversion or anything uh, because then it will be a uh, huge environmental pressure on me so anyhow uh, but uh, sunali so ma'am i just want to know one thing because i am working in a b2b company which is basically a technology based company so uh, uh, at times that uh, i find that uh, our marketing uh, members they are very reluctant to uh, post something on social media which is not very technical so sometimes I, all the time you know, we will post the content which is very much technical and flat in content it times it uh, really uh, bother me to get the number i rather i am not getting the number of engagement or the share or for the thing that i am expecting so how can i just uh, change the train so do you think it is uh, very up if i can put some that cheesy uh, content or sometimes some hilarious content even if the uh, b2b and complete uh, technical market domain okay so questions i have well, and this is this is a real you know pain point as i can see those two now two three things when i said have fun doesn't mean it has to be cheesy you know this whatever it means that you you must enjoy the process that's what i meant by have fun and you will enjoy the process because there's no stress there's nothing there you know where you have to But then that it rarely happens. Uh, like today, I hope it will happen. 
Now the second question where you said that mostly your team is posting technical content. Now there are two angles to this. One is because if it is your sales team or technical team who is doing the content, then it's wrong. They shouldn't be doing the content at all. Yeah, that's one. Because you need somebody with a marketing hat to translate the technical content into marketing. Okay, now one more important thing is whoever is doing your social media, please ask them to think of one customer as a person. Okay, let's say for example that it is, um, let's say Devanshu, right? He's let's say he's already a customer. He is already your person. The team who works on your social media messaging, whatever, needs to keep Devanshu in mind because they have met Devanshu. They have sold your whatever to him. You know your products to him, and they they know it's a person. So it's easier for us to think of customer than write for him. Got it? Instead of you know generally writing for some faceless people who we think are targeted, and this is the biggest problem block in messaging, communication, and creativity. So ask your people to think of a customer. When they think of a customer, they will automatically come up with pain points that the customer has. They will automatically remember the questions that the customer has. And they will look at the content as, as a means to answer those questions. Okay? I hope I have something. Yeah, thank you. It's a nice explanation. Yeah. Okay. I've worked with um, a lot of digital companies, especially those who do software development or backend or any sort of stuff that you can see with your eyes. It's something that's interesting. And um, my experience is that um, people don't, well, they don't really look at social network. You find maybe a VP of. Uh, uh, very, very often on Reddit, for example, or a or nine gag or something like that. So very often, like technical people there, they have a very good sense of humor, and they like a specific humor. So I use I use um, a very often like Reddit or nine gag as a inspiration when I have to post. That's one. And second is, look, you are in B two B. Do you really need a lot of likes to those posts, or you need likes from people who matter? I, did, I think the answer here is that you need, you need maybe 50 likes, but you need 50 likes on BPs, BPs of tech, uh, PMs, uh, POs, or whoever is your target market, right? So this is not something that I would like, but people get it, you know, they'll say, oh, this is, this is exactly what I was looking for, or this is like this brings a belt. So you should not expect um, your, your bosses or your CEOs not expect the same amount of engagement from a technical folk and some kiki you know like uh, and uh, a gif a gif from uh, friends you know these are different uh, in um, emotion and you know every post has a different like it has a different uh, goal you post to educate right uh, you post to educate or you you post to entertain speech should a common calendar where you have different types of content so you won't work that with uh, with content but you i i i disagree with the fact that you should have a lot of engagement no the less the the less likes and engagement you have the more you know that i've got i i, I got i got those people from here. so that's my uh, thank you Stephen. thanks for your nice elaborate explanation Thank you. Thank you, Shonali. Thank you, Stefan. So here is my question from Devangshu Chakravarti. Uh, so he is asking a follow-up question. Is lot of brands look at only leads and ignore social media. How do you look at that situation then? Isn't it this more tactical and not long term? As Shonali pointed out, brand presence is of course social media. Uh, any of the panel member can answer. Yeah, so just to give a concise, just to what Devanshu has just said, mm -hmm. right now, I think 
you know, you have a question. You have an answer already in, the, in your question, Debansho. Follow up question uh, for a lot of brands is very, very important. And as we keep on emphasizing as marketers, it's high time that brands are made to look as unique because I think Sonali just gave an example of you know, how the Basu is a brand to uh, sign. Well, here is also a brand representing his firm, right? Uh, so, yes, follow up is very, very important. Uh, it could be a single or a simple text or a hug. Hello, or maybe a complaint that would come to you or to any of us marketers were. But very, it, it is very, very important for us to go and have that personal touch to all the kind of communications or the kind of messages that we are reaching to, be it whatever type, because that does not matter. For enough for their actions and is treating and creating a trust between the direct user and the brand itself. So yes, to your answer the question, uh, it's, it's, it's very, very important to go ahead and do that. Even if it's just an introductory mail or, or just a simple high message or business WhatsApp or any other kind of So uh, here I wanted to ask uh, from my own experience, I have worked with a company who wanted lead generation only from social media. They wanted to do any campaigns, paid campaigns or not ready to do any email marketing. So my question, it's just I am like curious to know okay, whether it is really possible to do a lead generation campaign only through social media. through social media alone could also depend on the kind of target audience that you would want to reach. Mm -hmm. For example, TikTok cannot be your lead gen or a demand gen, only for brand awareness. I think the panel here or the people here could correct me. Stephen, if maybe you just want to throw some light on this question. Because TikTok is again a brand awareness. Instagram. Uh, yeah, brand awareness. So TikTok is most of brand awareness. Uh, I think. But you sh I think one important thing here is like when you think of lead generation, um, you know, tracking is not is not perfect. You know, you can't even especially like not attribute uh, uh, all actions that you you can see to a certain medium, right? You, with the with the update on iOS uh, 14, 15, mm -hmm. we have issues with extreme big issues with Facebook track. Extreme big issues like so, some companies have stopped existing. Uh, they cannot track their uh, their attribution on Facebook. Uh, so what I'm saying is that um, you. you this is not a one way. Like, welcome to the bar. So, like, you should look at direct attribution. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, okay, so this is this here. This is like, this is what I should do. But you are not considering all the money investing to brand awareness because brand awareness is not just the work. If you deliver on your promise with your product, even if you spend 100% of your money to brand awareness, customers will come. But they will come directly. Even if just social media, I believe mm -hmm. what see that is case is whenever there is a social media, right? What they want mm -hmm. is to understand what a number of queries that have come, but a big hello for my marketer friends here, everything just not spoken to with the dead or the gen. That is, it is responsible as marketers need to understand that brand awareness is stone key of the lead. Yes. Obviously, a quantitative ROI. So it is to choose what is important for A and what mm -hmm. kind of platform. That is going to help. I think there is one very, very good so idea that only defines your customer journey. It's not, it's not so like so there will be different social media content and campaigns for the other IDA, right? So, what is IDA? IDA's attention, interest, desire, attention. That is exactly yeah. how you take the customer through. That is the customer journey. 
in terms of your promotion that you must have in mind. Right? The customer is not straight up go to the screen and survey, you know, the CD, the, the submit button. Customer is very smart today. They will take all the time in the world to, you know, follow you everywhere possible. You read to their friends, get reviews, you know, call your people hundred times. You pick their brains thousand times, and then after, and especially in B2B, the lead times are huge, right? The conversion times are huge. It could be anything from two months to six months, and maybe even a year. Yeah. So it is very important to understand what do you mean by a lead. I'll give you just another example here. So there was, uh, unfortunately, this company really understood what lead was for them. Okay. So there was this company, IT company, and um, mm-hmm. they were not getting leads for almost a year. Their leads was an inquiry for a product then. Okay. So quickly they understood, but they were not even getting inquiries for a product then for for a year. So they hired me, and there was there was a lot of work that we did, you know, understanding what the interview team is doing. Going to the Google Analytics dashboard, understanding what where things are going wrong, etc. And then I came up with an entirely different strategy at that time for LinkedIn. And through that strategy, they they didn't get demos and demo inquiries. They got conversions. They got sales for the whole year in just oh my god twenty days. Oh. Uh, of course, the planning and strategizing is going on for a very long time. And when we actually put that thing into action, the sales was so closed because it was a high ticket item. And that is how we could get the sales. But then I would consider that this is not always the case, right? But they would have definitely got the demo. So this is very important according to me. Nirmala uh, is that. Understand what you need generation is and do not treat any platform in isolation. So like Stephen said, like Sabita said, suddenly you are not going to get anything on Facebook because the customer is everywhere, he is watching your brand everywhere, he is engaging with your brand everywhere that you are there and then he is going to make a decision. So that's yes. the last thing for us. Thank, thank you, thank you clearing my doubt from my side. Anyway. Uh, any uh, audience? Uh, do you have any question for the panel members? You can directly ask the panel members if you have. I think there was one question that had come from Sony. Oh, no, mm-hmm. Is tracking the number of likes and followers still valid for social media pages? Right, and I believe it's again, again we are back to our favorite thing of numbers, you know, because we, we all talk about numbers, right? right? Yes. Uh, so I think that's my talk about numbers and has a broad smile. <laughs> so, so I guess numbers, numbers matter a lot because uh, in case if the kind of uh, impressions or the reach, if you would want as a B2B, uh, you know, company to be more focused on LinkedIn, but a lot of traction on FB. Then I believe somewhere your messaging has gone very, has gone at a very casual approach because that word also matters in the kind of audience, what is your target audience? So for example, if you're an IT firm and if you're getting people who are IT developers, react developers, HR, admin, finance people, not if you're asking for a job, then I believe, you know, there is some mistake that has happened there in, in terms of brand security and choosing the right platform. Uh, so yes, you know, I believe uh, tracking the number is very, very important. And it also shows the kind of effort that you are putting as a successful marketer when it comes to your own IRAs, APIs, and ROIs that you know, have to be responsible for at the firm or as a CEO or in a different capacity. Uh, thank you, Kavita, for answering this question. I hope we had a very successful. Uh, input or uh, we had already means we gained successful insight from this panel discussion I will like to means thank you the panel member because for me 
it's a very insightful webinar i have learned a lot from uh, there is a question for uh, yeah what will happen to twitter after it becomes private again there is a question from nagarjuna anyone no, that's not the question there was some one question Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. There's a question. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. He was too fun to answer on the question regarding leads via digital marketing and ignoring social media. Stephen. Would you love to? Okay. Well, yeah, I can read this. Um. Uh, interesting question. Uh, <laughs> I would not say that uh, um, I would not say that I. You should not ignore this for me because most of the sales right now. I don't. I really don't. It's like look, at, look at it like where. where this is one of the like. Wired, like. Do you think it's best like older time looking at Facebook and TV videos and stuff like that, or or they spend time in their CRM, in their Slack, in you know other tools like. Um, I think your your buyer spends spends more time in think places where which you cannot control. Yeah. And this year, you can't you can't um, uh, you can't advertise on Slack, for example, besides this. Right. So all these things um, happen without your control. So you should be comfortable um, basically influencing people in a way that is not just cold, right? Just should let it go. That's what the thing the main thing is. Should let let it go. Focus on 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 moving and explaining things in places where you can. I'm not sure I I answered the question right, but is, is this answer okay? Okay. So I. Not, uh, Devangshu is there in the call. Yes, we just said thank you, and I think we both need to do one more on the same page. Yes. Um, I, I, I believe, guys, we can connect with the audience on LinkedIn if we are not connected with any of them, and then they can ask the same questions after the webinar. I'll drop my link to LinkedIn. So uh, I want to let my LinkedIn here in case I get connected with each other. That's yes. Uh, I think uh, Ms. Shonali also can drop the her, her LinkedIn okay. if she wants. I'll do that. Yes. 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 Uh, guys, it, it's been a really good session uh, we have. I'm really uh, thankful to Sonali, Sivita, and Vishen and Meg Muller to host this session uh, really well. So the uh, things uh, which I wanted to uh, to talk up about so how I have been using all of ads and uh, social media. Yes, I have seen all the pictures since 2012 and 13, and in all this, in for the last one decade, I have been using all these platform for for doing a lot of advertisements and engagements also. So all these campaigns, uh, when we talk about whether it's lead generation, uh, a warm up campaign, or probably retention campaign, all can be executed on social media really well. Uh, the best part about the social media and ads out there is you need, you can. Customize your own uh, really beautiful providing to us today. So, as you don't like to find out the custom ad audiences that helps us refine the whole type of whole ad, whole. Uh, whole process and using their, uh, their own, I mean, platform own AI, for example, on Twitter, if we follow one person, then it's another 10 It's it. Who are those 10 people to 
will get really good in their insights there. So we need to trust their own AI also, and we use their AI to for our purpose for as a marketer. So these things, uh, what I could see is helping us to be on so. I think that's very, very... Uh, thank you, Ankit. Thank you, Ankit, for your opinion. I... Saibal, you want to ask any question? Ah, so this is...